All right, in this video we're going to talk about relationships. Tables are related. The table object is related to another table object based on relationships, hence the name relational databases. All right, how are they related? How are these objects related? Well, they're, they're related based on these keys. All right, these tables have relationships based on the keys. The most common relationship is between the primary key in one table and a foreign key in another. A foreign key is simply a key that relates back to the primary key. All right, again, if, that, if, if you're not getting that, or that, that, that didn't make sense, it will. It will give it some time to sink in. Watch the video again until you get it. Right, it's, it's, take your time. So, right here we have, uh, that's not what I wanted. So here, in our table here, we have, this is our customers table. All right, we have our customers. Right, here is our primary key, and it is numeric. Customer ID, primary key, numeric. Down here, do you notice anything? How about Charlie? Right, number 13, number 13. All right. The customer ID primary key is related to the customer ID and our orders table. All right, so primary key, foreign key relationship. So we can't insert data into this table, our orders table, unless up here that we have a matching key and our customers table, right? And what do we see here? Well, we have number 13. So who is customer number 13? Right? Well, I mean, yeah, sure, you could look at the product name to know that Oxycontin, Brie Olson, Candy Star, the department they're in, hookers and drugs, that's easy. I mean, sure, it could be Lindsay Lohan, but the alcohol is not mentioned here. We can see that it's it's Charlie Sheen. All right, he is number thirteen. Right? Customer ID thirteen relates to the foreign key and the orders table number thirteen right there. Whoop. All right, that's the relationship. Now, what kind of relationship is this? All right, the foreign key is simply a key that relates back to the primary key. Here's the foreign key in our orders table, and it relates back to the primary key in the customer table. Straightforward stuff. Just takes a few minutes to wrap your head around it if you're new to this. Now, these tables have relationships based on the design of your database. There are different types of relationships. There's a one-to-one, -one. there's a one-to-many, which is the most common, and there's a many-to-many. -many. And the, really the one I only want to touch on here is the one we're talking about, a one-to-many. And why is our table here a one-to-many? Well, we can see right here that we have one, one entity, one row, right? Charlie Sheen. Sorry, that's not what I want to do. Let's try that again. Ready? There's Charlie Sheen, right? And here is a customer ID for Charlie Sheen. One. There, there is only one Charlie Sheen, folks. All right, that, that's how that's how you can remember it. <laughs> He's unique among us. But he can order whatever he wants and if this is our store and we're selling products to him and whomever around the world we want him to buy as much as possible right so it makes sense that this is a one to many relationship one Charlie Sheen can have many products that he buys alright
Let's go take a look at it in what the database looks like. Oh, here we have a, all right, we go to our store and we have database diagrams. Uh, now the first time you, you start database diagrams, it's going to give you a little message. Just go up here to the, let's see if I've created one in VentureWorks database. So let's close this real quick. All right, so let's just, out, out you go. Tables, database diagrams, let's see. All right, here we go. Um, this little error message or you know, a question message. The database does not have support for the objects for database diagram. Do you want to create them? Yeah, I do. Why else would I be clicking on it? All right, so now we can go and create our ERD, another technical term, right? ERD, entity, entities, right? We talked about that. Relationship, the relationships we want to see diagram. Again, it, this stuff in rocket science, it just takes a little while to absorb. So our customer, our customer's primary key is right here, right? The primary key. Here is the key. The little key in our diagram. This is it's, this spe specifies that this is the primary key, and this little symbol here, a little of infinity, means that there are the relationship is one to many, and that many can be any number. All right. So what else do we see here? Well, we also see in the that we have another table here, and there's also a very similar relationship, right? So if we look at this table here, let's take a look at this. Can you pick out the foreign key in the orders table? Well, if we look back to the customer table. And we've said earlier that the customer table primary key is customer ID and it relates to the orders table and then we have a foreign key of the customer ID in the orders table right all right very straightforward stuff again if you're if you're brand new to this and you're brand new to databases just take a little while for it to absorb if you're not, and then you might want to move on uh, to to se a section in uh, the course study where you, you maybe can just jump in, and you don't have to go through all these uh, this this very uh, beginning information about relational databases. All right, so let's stop there for this video on uh, table relationships.